Juggernaut. Hello, and welcome to the first ever Patreon Select. It's like Random Select, except it's not random at all. Um, basically, uh, one of my Patreon backers will pick a game, they will let me know what the game is and what system to play it on, and I will play that game for 10 minutes. Uh, at the end of the 10 minutes, I'll decide whether I want to continue playing or let the game be over. So, the first game has been picked by my first Patreon backer, and the game is Alex Kidd in Miracle World for the Sega Master System. Now it's a game I'm quite familiar with. Um, I did a Sega Master System top top video list, and many people were upset that Alex Kidd didn't make it. The reason Alex Kidd didn't make my top 50 list is, while it's a good platform game, there are some very very weird gameplay choices inside it, mostly to do with the uh, the rock paper scissors bonus games that um, you have to memorise and they're kind of random and they're kind of kind of off-putting, um, but there are some very good levels, there's some good fun platforming elements in there as well, and I haven't played the game since making that video a couple of years ago. So um, as it was requested by my Patreon backer, I am obliged to do a video on it. So without further ado, let's swap over to Alex Kid on the Sega Master System. Okay, so the game is ready to go. I am just about ready to go. This is Alex Kid in Miracle World. Let's start the timer. So the first thing that you see is that the, the game's quite colourful. It uses the uh, Master System palette quite well. And then the second thing that I notice, it may not be visible on the video capture, but ooh, the the inertia is, is weird. The way that the, the character jumps and moves doesn't feel quite right. I mean, sometimes it looks like he's careening way further than I want him to be. And then other times it feels like he's not jumping far enough. The punch is fairly accurate though. So I'm just making my way through, smashing the blocks to get the money. Money is very important in this game because you can buy some power-ups that makes later levels an absolute breeze if you save up enough cash. The music loop's kind of catchy. Oh, there was a damage block there. Okay, well, I fell too far. I didn't want to be this far down, but hey, this will still work. This will still work. <clears throat> so all I have to do is jump over here to get these two boxes. Okay. It never feels like I'm fully in control of where I'm going to land. I mean, like there, for example. I tap it and I drop. Sometimes I tap it and I'll go right off the edge. So there, there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. A bit too much momentum, possibly. That jump, it felt like I was going to land back on the platform, but I didn't. And heaven forbid if you try to change direction. That feels completely off if you try that. But never mind, we're in the swimming section. And in the swimming section, you have to constantly push down on the controller to keep yourself in a, on a steady line, otherwise you float to the top. It takes a bit of getting used to, but it's not too bad. Certainly not like turtles on the NES for example where you keep having to tap the button just to just to keep going. This is far more manageable. Okay. Now if I get that rice ball that ends the level for me. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get that money first. Okay and then I'm on to this level. This level I'm quite familiar with because the boss of this level is the first boss that's a rock paper scissors game 
and the rock paper scissors game seems to have no rhyme or reason to it I'm sure there is a pattern but I never figured it out it's been pure chance whether I made it through or not in previous games um, as I say I haven't played this for a couple of years the last time I played this was when I was doing my top 50 Sega Master System games list and many people were disappointed that Alex Kidd was not on the list um, but the reasons it wasn't on the list were for these these bosses that we're going to come up against soon and that was the major reason it, it takes all the fun all the momentum all of the enjoyment out of an otherwise fairly enjoyable platformer even if it is a platformer with a couple of problems like the inertia problem like the, the fact that the jumps don't feel right to me it doesn't feel as comfortable as a uh, like Super Mario's jumps for example or European platform jumps you know where you get that certain weight and glide when you when you when you drop down it feels like when you jump and fall you fall slower than if you just drop if I jump high it's quite manageable but then if I just fall off a ledge it feels like I'm running at a different speed like that for example I'm pretty sure you do fall at a different speed if you just drop yeah I'm pretty certain of that looking at this yeah I've fallen about a second but if I float it's slightly longer but here we are this is the worst decision ever in a platform game I'm Stonehead the third henchman of the king I'll let you pass here if you win three Janken matches. Now Janken is rock, paper, scissors. Um, now as you'd think he's Stonehead, he's going to be using stone most of the time. But that doesn't appear to be the case. You must choose paper, scissors or stone before the music stops. So, Paper. Nope, he cuts right through my paper even though He's a rockhead, he didn't fall for that. Okay, so we matched on paper. Okay. And of course, if you get these wrong, you lose a life. Paper again. So he did paper twice. Ah, I pick scissors, he picks stone, he wins. You better accept the inevitable, yes, which is a life lost. That's how lame this game is, uh, in some respects. It's just so unfair. Okay, so three Jankin matches. So last time we picked scissors, didn't he? Yes, he did when I picked paper. So let's pick scissors and let's see what happens. Oh, we win. Okay, great. And then he picked paper, didn't he? So let's go stone. Oh, no. No, we're both stone. Okay. So... I'm going to go stone again. Now, the logical decision would be paper, but I'm not logical, so I'm going to go scissors. Yes. Okay, we're through. Hip, hip, hooray. Pure chance. And here we are on the next level. Which is another delightful swimming level. Which I, I kind of enjoy. I do like these swimming sections. They're quite therapeutic. There's an extra life for me. In fact, I think I prefer these water sections to Super Mario Brothers water sections. It's just something very nice about the pace of the uh, of the water flowing and the the way that the monsters come at you. It's It's not too threatening, but it's enough to keep you alert ok 
Okay. No, this is where we gotta get our timing down. Go, 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 go. Okay, moving on. Next level. That rice would be super soggy at this point and super salty. Yeah, and this is an exercise in frustration right here. I'm going to have to take the damage. See this? The jumps, it makes you feel like I should be getting up and over that, but just not quite getting there. So we just have to smash our way through the blue blocks at this point. Hooray! Welcome Alex. Time is up. Writing an important story arc. You are a prince from the country of Redaxian who was kidnapped by evil men when you were but a small boy. Your native land has been grossly misgoverned by the tyrant Jankin the Great. Your mission is to save the populace from him. Cool. Give me a helicopter. Oh yeah. Okay. So these helicopter sections are fun. These control a lot like the underwater sections in Super Mario Brothers. Oh. And it's over. Lame. And I'm dead. Whoops a daisy. Doom, 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 doom. Nice level. Money time. I'm going to skip the extra life because I won't be needing it, but I will take the helicopter and whatever that A thing was. A is for, aha, a gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, I popped it. I hit one of the blocks. Damn. See, half the time of this game, when I miss a jump, I'm not sure whether it's my fault or the game's. It's not like, again, Super Mario Brothers, where you know if you miss a jump it's your mistake um, you know sometimes I feel like the controls are against me rather than with me get wrecked bull and that's game over Okay, so that was the first Patreon select. That was Alex Kidd in Miracle World for the Sega Master System. Um, it's a fun game. It's it's not one of my favourite games of all time for the Master System. Uh, it's not one of my favourite platform games of all time either. It's it's okay. It's it's good fun. It was nice and colourful for the time. Uh, it's got some enjoyable levels and some baffling platform ideas that don't belong in any game. The rock paper scissor thing. Who were they sm who were they smoking with when they decided that? Um, it just makes no sense. It takes 
all of the action away from the game and it just replaces it with frustration pattern memorization and it just doesn't work it it just doesn't it's frustrating and it's stupid um, and it, it takes a whole lot of enjoyment out of the game for me um, but that's made up by the helicopter sections and for its just joyous nature let's say um, it, it is quite an enjoyable game to play um, even if it isn't one of my favorites I will continue playing this game I will play it once in a while but that's enough for one day anyway Stuart my first patreon backer thank you very much for suggesting Alex Kidd in Miracle World on the Master System as the first Patreon selects game I hope this video is what you're after and I hope you enjoy watching I hope everyone else enjoyed watching this and until next time bye for now Thank you.